I changed the oil last week and didn't have time to cut the filter open because I was going on a road trip. So I like to cut them open. I've never cut a K&N open. And I just kind of want to inspect what's in there and see how these things are built. I do like the K&Ns, how they have the kind of the, I don't know what you would call this, sticking out the bottom, like a nipple out the bottom so you could put a one inch socket on it. And this is just a, I've used this oil cutter a lot now, filter cutter. I've used this oil filter cutter a lot now, so. And it's kind of hard to do without. Ooh, take it off camera a little bit and get it going. Just put it in my body. It usually come apart really easy. I don't know if I just did it wrong this time or. Yeah, I didn't get it all the way through right there. I had to use a screwdriver and a hammer to get this thing apart. And I was thinking it might be a tougher filter, but as I'm looking at it, it has a really thick top plate here. It's the whole width of that. So the The rest of it looks the same, but... I don't remember the Cummins filter being that thick up top. Let's see, I can't get it all pretty. I'm wanting to. Get the filter on it. You can see there's a spring in the bottom. It's clean. There's some black spots in there, but they look more like. Uh, Issues with the finish, kind of like the spray on the side in here. But it's really clean at the bottom. This truck is 150,000. I'm not expecting to see anything. Just going to go through now and inspect. That probably came out of the engine somewhere. So got a little rare earth magnet here on the end of these pliers. And I'm gonna see if it's metallic or aluminum. Ooh, it was metallic. Okay. With this filter design, the spring rests in the bottom here, about like that. And there's the o ring right here that rests on that. And the unfiltered oil will come through here, and the filter would come back up through there. And if for some reason the flow got restricted too much, it would push the spring down, which would separate the area right here and allow it just to flow straight through some of it. So that's how it bypasses. Well, I wanted to film this one, so. The next filter I cut open on this truck, I can compare it and also remember that I had that little piece of metal and have that as a reference and I might have my oil tested next time. Send it off to one of the labs. Thanks for watching!